Learn Abacus at Home, Step-by-Step -step Abacus Tutorials. You've probably noticed that in all the work we've done in our lessons so far, our answers only contain the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. In other words, the answer contains either the upper beads by themselves or the lower beads by themselves. Now in this lesson, we'll learn how to work with both the upper beads and the lower beads together in numbers that contain 6, 7, 8, and 9. So let's begin with a simple question. Let's do 2 plus 5 plus 2 minus 1. Now you may already have done this in your head, but let's solve this on the abacus to understand how we count upper beads and lower beads together. Here we go. 2 plus 5 plus 2 take away 1 minus 1. The answer is 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer becomes 8. Okay, let's do that again. 2. Move the two beads together towards the answer bar with your thumb. Add 5 with your pointer. Add 2 more with your thumb by moving them together towards the answer bar. Take away 1 with your pointer. The answer is 8. 5, 6, 7, 8. Now with that understanding, what do you think this number is on the abacus? This becomes 5 plus 1, 6. How about this? You're right, this is 7, 5, 6, 7. You've already seen what this is, 8, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when all the beads in the column touch together, the answer is 9. What is this number now? This is 90 because we have a 9 in the tens column that makes it 99. That becomes a 99. What about this? 95. What about this number? That becomes a 97. What about this? 87. 5, 6, 7, 8 in the tens column. That makes it an 87. 87. All right. I want to point out one other quick thing. When you're putting a 6, 7, 8, or 9, you can actually pinch the numbers together. 6, 5, and 1. Instead of doing two different movements, you can kind of pinch it together. Because you remember we talked about in the last lesson, we moved the upper beads with the pointer and lower bead we add with the thumb. So you can combine that movement together. That makes it a 6. 8, 9. Now how do you take them away? So if you had to take 6 away from this, you can still do your minus 5, minus 1. You always take away the upper beads first. Okay. Now if you had to take away 8, you take the minus 5, minus 3. Answer is 1. All right. So with that knowledge, let's solve another question. Let's do 9, minus 6, minus 2, plus 5. Here we go. 9. Take away 6. So I took away the 5, took away the 1. Minus 2. Take away 2. Plus 5. What's your answer? Answer is 5 and 1, 6. 6. Let's do this again. 9. Minus 6. Minus 2. Plus 5. Answer is 6. See how that works? Alright, now let's do a question with two digit numbers. Let's do 16 plus 2 minus 7 plus 56. Here we go. So 16, it's 10 and 6. 16 plus 2, add 2 with your thumb. Take away 7, minus 7, minus 5, minus 2, plus 56. Add the 50 and pinch the 6 together. What's your answer? Now we have 6 in the tens column makes it 60 and 7 in the ones column makes it 7, 67. That's your answer. Let's do this again. 16 plus 2 minus 7 plus 56. Answer is 67. All right. So now if your student is 5 or 6 years old 
or not yet fluent reading and writing two digit numbers, focus only on the single digit practice worksheets with this lesson. But if your student is seven years or older, they should be able to complete both the single digit and double digit worksheets. Now in teaching, you should always work with your student on a few questions before letting them work independently on the practice worksheets. With that in mind, review the practice worksheet support video with this lesson where we work on a few questions together. That's all in this video, and please, before you move to the next lesson, make sure you complete the practice worksheets with this lesson. Remember, there are no shortcuts. See ya!